Okay, so let's have this topic, solving for the integral of algebraic functions. So using this formula, the integral of x to the power n dx. So to solve for the integral, that x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So we have this given, the integral of dx. So to solve for the integral of dx, that's x, then plus c. For this integral of 5 dx, since we can rewrite this one by putting the constant outside the integral, that's 5 times the integral of dx. Then to solve for the integral, so just bring down the constant times the integral of dx. Since the integral of dx is x, then plus c. For the integral of x dx, so using this formula, so add 1 for the exponent. Since x has an exponent 1, so to solve now for the integral, so that's x to the power 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, then plus c. So simplify, so 1 plus 1 is 2, so x to the power 2 over 2 plus c. Then for this given, so the integral of dx over x to the power 4. So we need to rewrite this given first by uh, bringing up this x to the power 4 to the numerator. So this x to the power 4 becomes x to the power negative 4 times dx. Then to solve for the integral, so plus 1 for the exponent. So we have now x to the power negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1, then plus c. Then you simplify. So negative 4 plus 1, that's negative 3, over negative 3, plus c. Then to make this exponent positive, so bring down, that becomes a negative 1 over 3, x to the power 3, plus c. For this given, so 4x to the power 5 over 3 dx, so we can put this constant outside the integral. So we have 4 over 3 times the integral of x to the power 5 dx. Then solve for the integral using the formula plus 1 for the exponent. So that's 4 over 3 times x to the power 5 plus 1, 5 plus 1, then plus c. Then simplify, so 5 plus 1, that's 6, over 6, plus c. Then this one is 4x to the power 6, over 18, then plus c. Then reduce this 4 and 18, so divisible by 2. So we have 2x to the power 6, over 9, plus c. Then for this given, so we need to integrate every term and put the constant outside the integral. So for this term, that's 5 times the integral of x to the power 3 dx. Then we have this negative 3 times the integral of x squared dx. And that's 3 times the integral of x dx. Then minus the integral of dx or 1 dx. Then solve for the integral using this formula, so plus 1 for the exponent, so that's 5 times x to the power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1. Then we have this minus 3, then x to the power 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, then plus 3. So we have 1 exponent, so that's x to the power 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Then since the integral of dx is x, so minus x. Then plus c. Then simplify. So 5 times x to the power 4 over 4. Then minus 3. x to the power 3 over 3. Plus 3. Then x to the power 2 over 2. Minus x plus c. Then since 4 is the denominator. So that's 5 over 4. Then times x to the power 4. Then we can cancel this 3. That's negative, x to the power 3, 
and this 3 over 2, then x to the power 2, minus x, then plus c. And for this given, so integrate every term, then put the constant outside. So we have this uh, for the first term. So we have 6 times the integral of x to the power 3 over 4 dx. Then minus 4 times the integral of x to the power negative 3. So bringing up this x to the power 3 to the numerator, that becomes x to the power negative 3. Then plus... 3 over 2 times the integral of x dx. So this one is the constant. Then find the integral. So using the formula, plus 1 for the exponent. So we have this x to the power 3 over 4 plus 1 over 3 over 4 plus 1. Then minus 4 times x to the power negative 3 plus 1. Then negative 3 plus 1 plus 3 over 2 times we have this one exponent. So, x to the power 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, then plus c. Then simplify. So, this 3 over 4 plus 1, so 3 over 4 plus 1, so 1, the same as 4 over 4, to make this denominator equal, and that's 7 over 4. So, we have now x to the power 7 over 4, over 7 over 4, then minus 4 times x to the power negative 2 over negative 2 plus 3 over 2 x to the power 2 over 2 then plus c. Then simplify so we have 6 times the reciprocal of 7 over 4 that's 4 over 7 then x to the power 7 over 4. Then we have this one negative 4 divided by negative 2. That's positive 2, then x to the power negative 2, and that's 2 times 2, that's 3 over 4, x to the power 2, then plus c. Then we have now this uh, 6 times 4, that's 24, so 24 over 7, times x to the power 7 over 4. Then since this one is negative, so bring to the denominator. That becomes plus 2 over x to the power 2. Then plus 3 over 4, x squared plus c.